It is raining. I have never vlogged in the rain before, but I am walking to grab some quick lunch and then some coffee. It's been a really busy day. Um, I'd meant to vlog more this morning, but I had to get to the office early. I had some conference calls and then some projects that are going to be coming due in the next two weeks. So you just kind of saw me walk into my office and do you, ever, do you ever get to the office so early that you don't have time to put your makeup on so you throw it in your bag? It's one of those days. But it's time for food. Food is achieved. I just got it to go so I can head back to the office. I hope you guys can hear me. It's a little loud out here so I put the earbuds in so hopefully that will work better. Tonight is my one night off before we open Carmen at the Columbus Opera. I'm really excited. It's my first professional opera with them and it went well yesterday. We did a preview. We almost sold out the preview and I'm told we have eight seats left for tomorrow night. But as tonight is my night off, I am going to see one of my friends in James and the Giant Peach the Musical, which is opening tonight. Me and my girlfriend are going to dinner at a very fancy restaurant. I will be taking you guys with me and be vlogging the experience and her name is Robin. Uh, she did Mary Poppins with me. She played Mrs. Banks to my Mary Poppins. So I'm very excited to see her and the little boy who's starring as James played little Michael Banks. So it's going to be a good night. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna grab some coffee and then head back into the office and then work my schedule and kind of share with you guys how I do all of this stuff between shows, day jobs, singing, vlogging. It's quite a process, so I'll share with you guys how I schedule my day. But first, we are here. Put that body on me. Come on now, follow my lead. Come, come on now, follow my lead. I'm in love with the shape of you. Be pushing pull like a magnet. All right, so the lunch run is done. I have lunch run is done. I went and picked up Chipotle, and when I'm already gonna have like fancy dinner, I just got like a vegan bowl really it's got sofritas in it instead of meat and like a small amount of rice and beans the fajita vegetables tomatoes and corn like that was it I just wanted something small so I got that then I went to Starbucks just to pick up water and then I realized I had a free drink and as I am about to go like a little more healthy in my food choices after this weekend side note shows always mess up your eating schedule especially if you're a meal prepper because you give so many hours to your rehearsal but um I wanted to try something from Starbucks and no it's not the unicorn frappuccino because we talked about that in my live stream this is the dark chocolate mint mocha frappuccino which I'm told has less sugar but I don't know if I believe it I have to look it up before I believe it but it legitimately tastes like a Thin Mint Girl Scout cookie, and I think they put almond milk in this for me just because I was trying to go a little healthier, probably not healthy in the realm of sugar, but we're going to do a live stream on Sunday and talk about some healthy food changes happening in life that I might need some accountability for. Anyway, I feel like this vlog is all over the place. I haven't actually vlogged in a long time, but for now gonna head back to the office for a few hours and then head home and change clothes and Robin's going to pick me up because we're going downtown Columbus and we figured it was easier just to take one car so back to the office home get ready for the night we're going to a beautiful restaurant called De Novos for dinner and then we are going to go see James and the giant peach it figures I would take my one day away from the theater and go back to the theater Anyway, um, Saturday is also my day off. We have operas Friday and Sunday. They give us Saturday off. I'm going to teach for a little bit, and then I think I'm going to call my family and see if they want to, like, do dinner somewhere or just eat at home. Like, just whatever they want, because it's really rare that I get, like, a Saturday night off. It's really nice. It makes me excited, and my dad got a drone, and I want to watch him try to fly it. All right, back to work. When scheduling my day, I like to take time the night before to get everything down on paper. The first thing I write are important events like paying bills or a meeting that doesn't happen very often. Highlighting these will show me that they are urgent and important and I cannot 
forget. Next, I note standard parts of my day like going to work or teaching or lecturing. And lastly, I write down any items I could get done if I find extra time. This could be anything from like drafting future projects to researching new books to read. I do schedule my weekly events in my paper planner. I schedule my YouTube uploads and editing on my Google Docs calendar. The color coding is really nice and doing it online makes it easier to change the schedule since you know my work and day job come first. And if those take up more of my time, I have to shift around YouTube. And I usually do YouTube during the day. I don't like to take it home with me. And if that wasn't enough, I do keep a desktop calendar to track important meetings and office items. So they're there in front of my face every time I am at work. And when it comes to time management, the most effective thing I do is I set a timer for 45 minutes and I will be super focused during that time. But once those 45 minutes have passed, I allow myself at least 15 minutes to get up from my desk, walk, stretch, do something of my choosing before setting another timer for 45 minutes. This tactic works really well in the office and it also works really well if I'm trying to conquer a to-do list, specifically when cleaning my house. Fun fact. Guys! So I came home and these were there. This was there. This cat was still here. Okay, it's time to go change out of work clothes and get ready to go out with Robin. All right, so I have changed my clothes and now I'm just waiting for my friend Robin to pick me up. Quick outfit of the day because it is rainy and gross outside. We're doing a polka dot blouse underneath a jean denim jacket. And then just some leggings and boots. So I'm gonna pack up my bag and we are gonna go to De Novo. It's De Novo, I said De Novo's earlier. I was corrected, it is De Novo. Nothing too fancy schmancy. Just going out. Oh, I also found out that tomorrow night when we open the opera, we're going to De Novo for the after party. So, hooray! We're gonna do two nights at a fancy restaurant. Should I vlog opening night? Thoughts? Someone leave me a comment down below. Also, did you guys like that new footage? of downtown Columbus in my intro. I wanted to spice it up a little bit for the summer and I've used the other one for a couple weeks now so I thought I would change it up. Let me know what you guys think. The music will always change. I just wanted to see what you guys thought of the footage. So outside, just waiting for Miss Robin. Ain't it a glorious day? Right as the morning in May I feel like I could fly have you ever seen the grass so green or a bluer sky? Oh, it's a jolly holiday with you, Mary. Mary makes your heart so light when the day is gray and ordinary. Mary makes the sun shine bright. Oh, happiness is blooming. All around her, the daffodils are smiling at the dove. When Mary holds your hand, you feel so grand. Your heart starts beating like a big brass band. By the way, this is my friend Robin, who Hello. you saw in our B-roll. How was our food? <laughs> it was so good. It was so good. I don't often eat duck. That she really did, good. and it was so good. Oh she even gave gosh. me a piece. But now it's raining, and we're going in to see the young man who played her son, starring so James. So proud of him to grow up so fast. He doesn't have parents <laughs> in this show, so I mean, I guess you're still his parent. Oh, I like this idea. <laughs> we're going in.